everyone. My name is Anya, and with me I have Jana or Miss Two J on Instagram. We're gonna be having some fun today and doing some Studio Ghibli inspired art. How are you doing today, Jana? I am okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have some echo. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. I'm not sure why, but let's keep moving. Um, <laughs> so, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> sure. Okay, Vance, it was on your side. Good. Glad to hear that because, yeah, that would have been bad. I'm going to start approving all of y'all because I know most of you. Actually, I know all of you. Um, hello, everyone. Hello, Vance. Hello, Hadley. Hello, Jay. Hello, Adontis. Hello, Bio MP3. I actually don't think I know that one. <laughs> and uh, welcome. So you can all get on our board here. We're, we thought it would be really, really fun to start with like a background. So Jana here is already like establishing that. So it's like a little garden with a little house. And so we were thinking of like adding characters all over it and doing the background. So you guys can like jump on in if there's not a space for you or if you don't want to participate in the event that we're doing on the first canvas, there are multiple other sequence panels. All you have to do is go on the bottom left here to the sequence panel, open that. You could see it on stream and then you can go to the second, third, fourth, fifth canvas. Um, so go right Wait, on ahead. I'm doing so many in one in one go. Wait, am I doing five backgrounds? No, no, you're just doing one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Jana. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You were like, oh no. Yeah, I would never subject you to a 90 minute five background challenge. That's insane. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh no, 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 just, just the one. <laughs> Everyone on the different canvases, you're on your own <laughs> in terms of backgrounds, but we're gonna, we're gonna hop into this shortly or Jen is already going, but, um, I'm going to be hopping in shortly. I just want to talk for a bit. Like, I, I, I don't know how old I was when I watched my first Ghibli movie. I think it was the... Castle in the Sky one. Howl's moving, Howl's moving Castle. Yeah, Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm bad Mine with all the names. Mine definitely was spirited away. Like, in, Jap in Japanese. There's a lot of, Otosa, Okasa. This is how you learn, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's just a lot of, like, mysticism towards that kind of movie and I thought it was like really really interesting uh because where I lived because I'm from Canada we didn't have anything like that so when I saw the movie for the first time I was like what is happening here like <laughs> yeah like what is going on <laughs> right um because all the commercials were like this girl is like falling from this guy into this guy's arms with like the necklace and everything it's like whoa you know uh so I thought that was really interesting um here, let me drop in like a sky and I'm looking at a reference board here just to kind of nail some of these colors. They always have like a really bright, like really bright blue sky. Let me nail that color I need to because it's, it's important. Are you, you going to go sky and I go um, forest and background? Then we'll do like the thingy last. The sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I have no problem. Like a layer up <laughs> on top of yours. That right? Yeah, because I'm I'm way in the back. So wait, I'm already on top of you. Oh. Yeah. Well. And you can move the layer around, right? Um, so it's not really that Yes. Yes. I think that's a good sky blue, right? You wanna you wanna get that um atmospheric uh, what's the word? Not Perspective. That. Yeah. Yeah, where the 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 lower you go in the sky, it's always lighter towards green because it's reflecting from the earth. And uh, like towards a warm blue in the top because of, you know, technically the atmosphere is doing to the big black thing behind it, full space. Yes. <laughs> that big black thing. <laughs> I well, love you that. Know, you absolutely <laughs> know what I'm saying. 
Yes. Yes. I just, I, I like to be a pain. And you know that. English is um, not <laughs> I will use this as, a, as an excuse to not have to know science. So there you go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to attempt Studio Ghibli Clouds. Oh, dear. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I know, right? This is like, I don't even know how to do real clouds. Come I mean, on, this people. was your idea. I know, right? Like, what's wrong with me? Uh, so these these people that do, like, Studio Ghibli stuff, they're, like, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I am. Yeah. Not also, so, your predictions yeah. are not coming true. Like, I see zero Totoro's. Just saying. Yeah, I thought, like, immediately people were going to, like, immediately start trying, like, Totoro's. Um, I don't even know how to say it properly, but it doesn't matter. Oh, you say it better than I do. <laughs> Thanks. What was, like, your first, your first movie that you saw from them? Oh, yeah. Um, like I said, Spirited Away. So nice. I had, yeah, it was a uh, it was an experience in Japanese. Um, so I didn't I didn't really get it at first, but maybe it was Japanese, maybe it's a um, storyline. But I was like, eh. I I didn't know what to do with it right away. If you get what I mean. Yeah. So, how old um, were you? Thirteen, I think. Yeah, that's still quite young. You probably just, yeah. Yeah, my age just sucked. That's that's. Uh... Well, no, it's it's just that when we're, <laughs> we're littler, <laughs> when we're littler, we don't yes. we don't ne necessarily understand everything that's going on. We just kind of watch it and like, whoa, you know, zone out. That's true. But there's always like a lot going on in Ghibli movies, like a lot. And yeah, if you then have missed um, the targets or what they were trying to say with that first thing, then you're kind of missing out on a lot. So I think that that might have like just. Oh, but I mean, it go. was very pretty. Here we so go. Like, what? 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 We got a Totoro. <laughs> Oh, where? Where? In the front. Oh, my God. oh, yes. Here we go. We're just missing like a stem here with the leaf. Um, oh, right. <laughs> I love it. I love that people are doing that. It's awesome. Um, yes. No. Uh, so I was, um, uh, I was, I just really loved how it looked. Like, it's very mm. pretty. So I was good with the yeah. pretty. I think I only watched it for pretty, maybe. I don't know. I also love uh, the music. Like, can we talk about that? Oh, hold on. Speaking of the music of Studio Ghibli, I have a playlist that you guys can go listen to. Let me, what? like, shuck it. I can shuck it in the, like, comments. Oh, oh by the way, God. hello, homebody. <laughs> Um, now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you guys in the YouTube comments, I'm going to give you like a YouTube playlist. So this YouTube playlist is a bunch of Studio Ghibli music, um, like piano versions. And basically, I'm not putting music on the stream on purpose so that you can go to that sound, <laughs> click to a different tab, put that YouTube playlist on like lower and then we can you can you can enjoy Studio Ghibli music while we're doing this. Uh, if you want to, you don't have to, but where know. I want to have it. Oh, here, let me send it to you straight. <laughs> I I, I want to I want to have music. the full experience here. Yeah, you know what you know what's sad because I'm sharing my screen for the stream. I can't have the music because it will go through on the stream. Oh, yeah, sad. Yeah, but it's okay. I cute. listened to it. Like, it was on uh, reading, like, over and over for, like, the past, like, few hours. So I've listened to it. Like, I remember all um, of them. Like, they're so peaceful and so nice. So you're um, brainwashed, though. No. 
<laughs> no, I was put in the mood. <laughs> oh, different. Right. Oh, this is what you're calling it. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. I, yeah. I, I see what you're doing there. Ha ha. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I just, I think it's, it's, it's just really great. Like it has such an interesting feel. The music. Yeah, it's it's very like just hopeful. And like you know, free. I was, um, I was watching Toto today, especially for today. Um, and I actually, I actually, the the Toto has like a lot of like uh, happy, loud, bombastic music, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but this is probably not the one you meant. Could be still, but yeah. Our styles of painting do not <laughs> they do not mix. I'm not sure how we're gonna make this work. Well, you have to go um like Ghibli has very hard lines and you go very soft and friendly. That's nice, but um like the clouds are usually wait, how can I I'm I'm trying to get more hard edges. I'm working on it. I promise. She's working on it. Okay, no, I cannot. Where did I have you to be? Oh. I have to be more. But hard we're edged. also both not done yet, so. This is true. This is true. And I'm working with a lag. This this is also true. <laughs> See all these truths. It's uh. <gasps> Look at this! Oh, it's a Kiki's delivery service, but she's on a jet something that's flying. That's good. Look at that. That's it's so awesome. Carpet. I it's love it. Carpet. It's it's got a jet at the bottom. I'm not sure. Hey, Lance is here. Like the like uh that's oh, also on the Xbox service. Yes. Yeah, but he's also an ambassador for Magma. Oh everybody is oh they just let everybody in then. Okay, no, I get it now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> funny oh i'm so glad you named that funny that's like a good thing <laughs> you seeing it as funny so okay so once so you are both uh and best so did you get him in i mean Sort of. I was around, and then they were like, who would be a good fit? And I was like, Wentz has been a part of your community for a long time. It wasn't like I got him in. He was already in. It's just that, like, I did suggest it. I mean, but I, I don't think it's, like, just me. Like, it's... He, he did great for himself. He'd been using Magma for a long time and was one of their, like, committed community regulars for a long time. So, yeah, it's definitely... Off the back of his own consistency and and work, um, oh, so I, I wouldn't say it's. Yeah, he is epic. So definitely, everyone who's like wondering if they should go to Vince's classroom this month, definitely go for it. Sorry, I like can't uh, stop advertising. Um. <laughs> there's also events, events, um, live stream. Wait, is this a classroom too? No, this is a clubhouse. Ah, we're collaborating. Yeah. It's a collaboration yeah. clubhouse. Oh, look, we have a cute little... Ah, so cute. Sorry. <laughs> this became a robot. This became it's a, a robot. It's a robot Totoro. I love it. I love, I love this big bug that Vince is making. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Like, okay. yeah, aren't those bugs from Nausicaa? I'm okay, not sure. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty intimidating for me to choose this theme. Not gonna lie. 
But ambitious is it is the word you're looking for? Ambitious. Are we allowed to curse? Um, <laughs> I would rather not. Just, just because this is a family friendly uh, software, and we're trying to be family friendly under this Discord. Right. Yeah. Um, now you Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Not really, though. I'm just. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. Like, essentially, I I just really like it. Like, I like watching Studio Ghibli movies. Like, they're so cool. Definitely. I I also like uh, the. Um... Um... Miyazaki always loves to put in a, an environmental message into it, and then he kind of goes, "Yeah, nobody's paying attention. That's their fault." Um, but he is—he is very adamant about nature. Yeah. And I mean, who wouldn't be? Because if all our nature looked like a like a Ghibli movie, then everybody wants to keep it, right? Oh my goodness! That and like the food in Ghibli. Oh my god! <laughs> the, oh. the food. <laughs> Oh I will happily turn pig for that food. Oh, dude, yes. <laughs> That's very uh, story appropriate for... Uh... <laughs> Which away. movie is yeah. it where the parents turn Spirited into hogs? Away. Spirited away, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, no, I oh, homebody. Um, so you would draw on the canvas here. Okay, let me give you a link to my art space. And then once you've joined the art space, you can go ahead and join the canvas. Hello, Gardery. So that's the art space. Go ahead and join that. And then I'm going to give you the actual canvas link. You cannot join the canvas without joining the art space. That's why I'm giving you the art space first. And hopefully you can join us here. Once you have, I can approve you, just like I did Andy right now. Sorry, Andy, if you've been waiting a while. Gotcha. Uh. <laughs> You're such a caring person, Nick. You're taking care of all the children, including me. <laughs> well, I am a mom. I just I just miss momming. Uh, because, yes. yeah, my, my kids are not with me right now. You need more of them. No. I do. <laughs> I do. I need more children. <laughs> like, right. I mean, like I, you know, I, I opted out, so you can take mine. Did, did you just make a pact with me that you owe me your firstborn if you ever have one? Like, what? what is this? No, 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 no. The fact <laughs> is that I won't have one, so you can have another one. And nobody, like, oh, okay. anybody, anybody would go like, oh, my God, you have too many children. And you go like, yeah, no, this bitch, uh, person over here doesn't have one. So, see? Like, that eases out. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It was so close. I just <laughs> won't go ever so slightly, and it just, I will not. I will. You're good. You're good. <laughs> also, hello, B uh, B O M P three, Bo M P three. Um, hello, <laughs> and uh, good morning, Andy. Oh, I'm seeing people come in, so I'm gonna approve them. Hello. Yeah, go ahead and draw. I uh, just know it's Studio Ghibli themed. So, um, if anybody here does not know what Studio Ghibli is, shame on you. <laughs> Just Google a picture of Totoro. And yeah, yeah. Totoro. We don't have a Totoro yet. We almost had one, and then we didn't. So, well, I'm I'm gonna make one. Heck yeah! Do you mind if I now that I've laid in some colors? Do you mind if I like uh, ditch you yes. in the background? Ditch, ditch all you like. Okay, I'm gonna ditch you. I'm coming to the top. I'm gonna make a Totoro. All right. Oh, all right, let's so go. To your Totoro. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Uh, where do I put him? Let's see. <gasps> yeah, because that's that's kind of what I wanted to do. I was expecting when I came in that everyone would make one, and then I wouldn't get to make one because if there was too many, I wasn't gonna do it. But uh, <laughs> but there isn't too many. I'm so you kind can of like 
happiness. I'm excited. Okay, so what if I put him like over here? He's kind of like this type of shape. He's kind of huge, so I'm gonna make him like I mean, you really have, like, big a, next cool. to the house. You can what? put him like on his back on the on the on the roof. <laughs> oh no, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't think he would like. I think he would roll off. I don't think he has enough like structure muscles to like hold himself on that roof. <laughs> Should I create a ditch in the in the roof? So that, that a ditch in the room. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I could just put him here, and actually, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna move him just a little bit. So I can have him actually like working on this garden. That's a I'm good idea. I want to have him do like. Do we have? Do we have a smudge tool? By the way. A what? Smudge. No, you do not have a smudge tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I know Yet. enough. Oh. Okay, so he has. Okay, so he has. Merge down. He has some interesting. I want to make a sketch on top of this just to kind of figure out what I'm doing. So he has. I got to get him right. That's the problem. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I've never really drawn him. Doing the I have, I have never drawn him before. So, like, uh, forgive me. <laughs> I mean, I think if you have like a like the big, um, what's the word? Like, um... he kind of looks like a Pokemon. Not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a really big Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Wait. Uh, are we talking Pokemon now? Because um, you still have to open <laughs> some gifts from me, uh, my friend. Oh, no! Uh, I don't go on there enough. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I've been, like, walking a lot more, so I, like, I'm trying to play Pokemon Go again. And I actually have a gym that, like, I can spin from my bed, which is hilarious. Um... <laughs> Yes, some people are that lucky. You know, I have that here too. Like um, the gym that I get. So it's like really short. Uh, thing. And, and whenever I, you know, when it's occupied by blue again, because boo, blue, um, they, you know, they recap. Hey, I'm blue. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, so. oh, do you not like blue because I'm blue? Like, what is this? No. Um, anywho, so it's like a constant battle, but they can just do it from their lazy chair, and I have to like walk over there and they like, get there to like get it back again, and then they just go like that, oh and then gosh. they put the same two Pokemon in there. Okay, so but that's enough Pokemon, we're doing GPE. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Um, here's another off thing that we can talk about. Uh, there's a really cool activity happening in Lightbox server this Saturday. <gasps> oh, whatever could it be? It is the Paintathon, the Easter egg Paintathon. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> we need like the. the yeah, I need we a got megaphone that here. or something. I was like, oh my goodness, girl, what? come to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Someone is drawing Studio Ghibli stuff. Food. Food. Yes, thank you. You are our hero. You're amazing, Jay. You're amazing. Just, uh, just thought I'd let you know. It is amazing. Because that is awesome. If you can paint that like Studio Ghibli, oh. Oh. Okay. I mean, why would that be on the floor? That should be inside the house, you know what I mean? But then we wouldn't see it, Sag. That wouldn't, um, be, very... Sag. That wouldn't be very Ghibli, though. <laughs> Because, like, they like unexpected things, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They do, actually. They do very much, like, weird, unexpected, random stuff. Like cat buses. Yeah. Like cat buses. <laughs> hey, ooh, by the way, before we go into the Pentathon thing, I had another thing uh, I was thinking about today. Like, have you ever given thought to what a visual library actually is? 
It's like you've drawn it so many times that you like remember it, right? That's what it is, right? Right. But I thought it was also maybe like um, that you learn um, things or see things. And because like I found out, I started uh, with this, um, like with this project, right? And then you're all like talking with each other like oh my god i like this and this and this oh do you mean like the one in this movie or the one in that movie do you mean it like this and so that's also visual library right because you can recall certain things yeah and then you want to have like a like if i if i ask you now to draw a worm a big one You'll probably have an idea of how to draw it. That comes from visual library, no? Yep, I drew a worm. There you go. <laughs> Pretty bad worm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so. Uh, well, yes, so that's what I meant. Like, uh, that's also visual library, is it not? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Sometimes I have those, and then I'm on, on a walk or something, and I think about these words that we just use, and then I'm like, wait, doesn't this stuff also belong to that thing? And does that then mean that I can now draw that stuff? Because that's not always mm -hmm. the case. Like you said, you have to practice it too, right? Um. So. You have something in your head and then you have to like collect the references and then you have to go and like draw it a million times is that yeah maybe like the, the final complete definition of a visual library i guess so like i'm not sure i've never given like 100 percent like thought on this subject matter you you kind of caught me yeah. with my pants down on this like <laughs> i'm kind of like whoa what are you saying yeah it's a, it's an english expression sorry um, no no i know i i know it's a, <laughs> i know about it i'm, I'm familiar with it um so yeah my, my i i've gotta embarrass my husband right now from imaginarium yeah. terrain Hello. Where? In oh, the comments. Oh. In the comments. This is my husband, yeah. everyone. So cute. It's on memory banks. Andy. <laughs> oh, the memory banks. Yes, it is. Hey, so Andy, are you um, are you a uh, oh, what's the word? Uh, I'm a computer guy, IT guy. I say this like I don't know what it is, but I actually do. Oh, let's wait. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, he's not. It's all right. Give him time. There's no, there could not. be some lag he between. He reacted with no. He's not an IT guy. He builds PCs though. Okay. Ah, that's cool. Pretty cool. Wait, you knew this, right? I mean, it's your husband, is it not? No. <laughs> Andy is not my husband. Oh, I thought you said that. I was oh sorry. no, Whoa. no, no. <laughs> okay, Andy is a community regular in the uh, YouTube chat. Imaginary of terrain is, was being all cute, um, <laughs> and he's, he's my husband. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought it was very supportive. Sorry, that's like wow, hilarious misunderstanding. Um. <laughs> Yep, I'm sorry. You're good, you're good. I love, you know what I might do to this? Uh, I'm going to kind of break this thing. Um, and make you're going to break a thing? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to make the, the umbrella crooked. 
Have you noticed that like in almost every Studio Ghibli movie, anytime there's an umbrella, it's like half broken? Like it's like uh, used. Well, I did because and there's like tears. Um, I was watching the wind fight oh the wind wind something something wind today and there also is an umbrella and it's leaking whilst they um, whilst they are outside. Yep. So that's the thing then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Almost this, anytime there's like a know. um Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. It's like anytime there's an umbrella in a scene, like it really is like it's almost always broken and it, it just made me really think like what the simplicity of keeping an object even though it's broken is such a normal like or, human thing. Or what? Mizaki is showing that umbrellas are stupid things, as I do. I no. I love that I'm just like looking for the depth and the meaning and you're just like or it could be just <laughs> well I mean depth or meaning this is usually what Miyazaki does right like um that that um in, in spirited away that no face guy um it has yeah. no really um has no role for that movie but apparently he is based on a type of friend that he has or a person that we all know that is some type of useless, but kind of there. Uh, and you don't know what to do with them. So apparently there was, a, was a, at least this is what I've heard. I am in no means any expert, but I heard that apparently that was, that that character was built on, um, you know, that person in your surroundings. So you like have no use for it, but it's there and you're taking it with you or something or using it or. <laughs> That's funny. So I think it's very likely that um, that Miyazaki is trying to show us that umbrellas are pretty useless because often um, it's when it's raining, it's like pouring, and when, with a lot of wind, you cannot use it already. If you walk with a second person next to you, this person will get wet. If you try to do two people under one umbrella, you will get wet. If um, I don't know. There's too many downsides to umbrellas. So what if that was the uh, intent? Have you, have you <laughs> He's just like, it? I hate umbrellas. So every single one of them in my movies are going to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting take. And I actually really like that. That's <laughs> I've never heard that take. That's awesome. Really? Oh my god. I have yep. like every time like like I have this one friend and uh okay so basically i have two they speak the same language and um as soon as it starts raining they both have an umbrella on them i don't know why i don't know how they probably must check the weather forecast ahead of time or something or i don't know uh, <laughs> and then they whoosh whoosh both have it on and then they can walk next to each other perfectly and and i'm like how are you doing this like, what what is this kind of like magic that you guys have? They you know they don't even they don't, they don't talk to each other or anything, but at the same time they get their umbrellas out and they put them up and like in one flowing movement continue the life as what is happening or what they were talking about. It's so weird to watch, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that was my take on umbrellas. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Good story. I just love like all the references of and there's several different types of umbrellas they had they they showcase in different like Studio Ghibli movies. All the ones that I'm seeing, like, they really do they're like all broken. <laughs> what the heck? Like I don't well, get why that's a thing, but I'm also one, like mm. Except for the one that is in the um, that, that people used to uh, paint on, like as a parasol. Those seem to keep up. Yeah. Yeah. The ones in Marnie are not broken. Yeah. No, and the wind, uh, the wind rise, the wind also rises, also not broken. 
Yeah. Interesting. Like the parasols, the umbrellas, however, are leaking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so do you like, um, I don't know if you have guests um, every time, but do you um, like ask your audience questions and then they go vote somewhere or respond? I mean, we can ask them questions. I They could like just use the chat. Um, anytime I ask you a question, they're more than wel welcome to answer as well. Um, it's really just chill. And yes, I, I do like to have guests on like every time I do a clubhouse just because it's it's more fun. Like we get to chat, we get to talk about stuff, get more people um, over on this channel and have some fun. Oh, I love, love the food is being painted down here. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Gorgeous. This person got it. The reason why you watch movies. Oh, good night, Bo MP3. Have fun. <laughs> but where are you? Uh, what chat? So there's several chats. There's the one in the. Uh... <laughs> <Of course. Yeah. laughs> there's the, the... <laughs> I should have known. Like, why am I even asking? <laughs> yes. The one in the canvas. There's the one on the side here for YouTube. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I'm going to take a little gallivant and see what's up on the different sequence panels. Ooh. <laughs> nice, nice. I think pretty much everyone's on the uh, the first board. Yeah. Cool, cool. It's because we all have this such a robot. Nice yes, it's all it's all you, man. We have like a really no, no, cool no. background. No, no, no. Your clouds. It's your clouds. <laughs> yeah, you can spin this high and um, low, but it's your um, clouds. Clouds make a make or break the Ghibli movie, I'd say. It's not going oh man, you put so much pressure. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna lay down some green down here, okay? I'm gonna lay down lay down the law. The law of green. That's gotta hurt. Oof. Okay, so um so do you know do you know the um the prompts already for um for what? Well, the paint-a-thon. Of course I do. Know. Can you whisper it to me? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's oh. space opera. Oh! Oh, yeah, but there's something added, right? Like, something... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, but, like, contrary to popular belief, the mods on Lightbox know nothing. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know anything. Right. So to get back to our little right? No, we actually are told nothing. <laughs> like genuinely. Oh, um goodness. we know nothing. I'm serious. Um Yeah, like I said, yeah, it's like John Claus uh, like John Snow Claus. Yeah, I'm participating no, no, okay. events. Um I'm I'm gonna do like just a small little casual thing though. Um, so actually, Oscar is leading the team uh, this time Whoa. around. He's gonna have such a good time. I was like, "Listen, friend, I'm really busy, and I, you know, if you still want to do the paintathon, would you mind leading this time? Because I'm tired." And he <laughs> was like, "Sure." Uh, and then I was like, "Yeah, you just tell me what to do. I'll do it." And he's like, "Awesome." Like that was great. Time. I don't I just I don't have the like mental like I wanna go to bed. You know what I mean? Like I wanna go to bed. I wanna wake up in the morning and feel refreshed. I, I don't wanna wake up to stress. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm Do you I'm just... go to bed during these marathons? When I was leading them, no. Do we need to have I talk? wasn't sleeping. Oh <laughs> So I'm going to really enjoy going to bed <laughs> this weekend because, <laughs> um, yeah, 
it was pretty intense. Like I wouldn't yeah. really sleep. It See, was that's pretty not sad. Good. I know. That's I know. Here, I will present my hand for slapping. Yes. Here you go. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So, um, basically, Oscar is gonna take over. And, yeah, uh, it's the Oscar takeover. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get all the payback. Like <laughs> these people, they. I, I'm pretty sure, like some of you remember Oscar from last week when he did a collaboration clubhouse. Uh, so you guys know who he is. You guys, you do know. I don't know. Who is Oscar? Of course you know Jenna. <laughs> what do you mean? I met him. We were on the same table. We ate pizza. Yay. No. What's Are you talking name? about? No, oh, that was met. Poppy. You met Poppy. Okay, yes. Yeah, but I also met Oscar. Okay. Yes, sorry. you did. During I during the expo. He remembers you. <laughs> No, I remember Oscar too, but I think to me maybe that Oscar and uh, Poppy have very similar energy for me. So I, in my head, it's not mm. on purpose. I'm mixing them up. Not on purpose. It's all right. Well, okay. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. But it's going to be super fun. I'm like very excited to like just. <gasps> Yeah. Chill out. Honestly, I'm really excited to just not have like the weight of the world on my shoulders this weekend. Um, That's gonna be interesting. It is, cause then I, all I have to do is like he tells me to do something, then I just go and do it. Like I don't have to coordinate fifty million people into a drawing. Yeah, you're not that I'm complaining. So much than mine. <laughs> We might not be that many this time around just because a lot of people are like MIA. They're like busy with life stuff and we're just kind of like, ah, we'll still do it casually. Like, I know. Um, Luckily, it's in my team now. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, meaning to say that, um, like, uh, she's uh, part of my, uh, she's part of our uh, project. We have a project. Uh, right. But we are not competing. Uh, like uh, team, what's her name again? Early birds. The bird squad. The bird squad is not competing this uh, this time around. Nice. It's not because we got uh, not Natalie in our team, but it's because we are very 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 busy right now. Okay. Which is a shame, because space opera. Wait, space opera is that? Is Star Wars? Yeah. It's like Star Wars, Dune, like. Um, oh, wait, what makes something. Fifth Element. Happen? Listen, listen, listen. You're going to make me Google stuff right now? Like, girl, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I mean, make you really Google stuff. I thought you knew. <laughs> you should I know mean, better because... than to think I know things. <laughs> Well, what do you I think, think I am? Smart? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know a lot of stuff because you're very prepared all the time. So, you know, and you are like <laughs> uh, doing like this. Google yeah. things. Yeah. You could have so, Googled it. Like, yeah. Like things like Star Trek. Um, for some reason, Google spit out an article in French. So I'm actively translating. Yeah. Dune. Uh, Doctor Who. Anything like cyberpunk, but like off a different planet. Um, Star Wars, obviously. Um, Wait, but then space opera is just another word for sci-fi? Kind of. Or but there's, sci there's some sci-fi that is not space opera. Because it's not in space. <laughs> not super, super well educated. I know that the people that are judging this are like super huge space opera fans. So they're oh, gonna right? judge you on a set of criteria that they deem 
worthy. But I really don't have. So we cannot make any mistakes in the what is it? Uh, the space quantum continuum uh, core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Loki will get you. Um. Huh. Sadness. Okay. Well. I uh, wonder if Loki is considered a space opera, because. Loki. I don't. Th Loki season one and two. Because of the way it yeah. ends in season two, no spoilers, but you know, just no, because of the well, way it ends, it's like. Yeah, but then, but then, um, Marvel is a space opera. I mean, like, um, um, is it though? Thor, I don't Thor know. because then Thor is also in space. Oh, and Miss Universe is also in space. Then, oh my gosh! <laughs> but here's the thing: last time we had like he superheroes was the theme, so like I don't okay. think. I don't think superheroes. Though I do know they're going to be lenient with it because you can, as long as there's a feel of space opera, then I think you're fine. But let me develop this Totoro some more. Let yeah, so your Totoro is here. brown. You probably noticed this, but your Totoro is brown. Yeah, I just want to like give him more oomph. <laughs> He's got... He doesn't have much oomph. Don't know well, how to describe that. Well, I he's cute, know. but he's not perfect. Well, he won't be, but you know, I try. I do my best. So oh, I bye, Jay! Thank you for that wonderful, beautiful food and the cute little, I forget what they're called again, soot monsters. Oh, there's one gremlins. stealing an egg. Soot That's gremlins. so cute. <laughs> so, I love your contribution. Thank you. Bye. It's very pretty. Okay, somebody named Klondi said in the chat, space is a setting, sci-fi is a genre, opera is a structure. <gasps> I need to know more. So this person is clearly the person that's judging. Um, I'm say I, I say that, but that, that like I have no knowledge of if that's the thing. Hey, sorry, Jub Jubs and um, Meg. I did a preview. You guys can paint. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hope you haven't been sitting there long. Uh, but yeah, so we're talking about the Paintathon and Studio Ghibli and just like how excited we are to do stuff. But you can come in and put a little. It would be awesome if somebody was like on board to do like a Kiki's delivery service somewhere up here. That would be awesome. Like the little you girl on the, the, on the broomstick. Yeah, exactly. It'd be awesome if it was like uh, like in the sky. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah. Just a suggestion, because that would be sick. Um, but we also just got... Um, we are getting schooled on what a space opera is. Exactly. Yes. Because I know. Yes. <laughs> an opera. I mean, I've, I haven't seen many. I mean, I've seen Carmen a few times. And Nabucco. I usually just like to listen to them. <laughs> Not necessarily go to them. <laughs> But so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, does it? Uh, although there is like in Fifth Element, there is it's a space opera and there's opera in it, right? Yeah, but it's not. Um, what I mean, because but that's not perfect. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> although I am expecting like at least one person to be uh, painting that for the painting. Hey there. Uh, Robin, welcome. We're Robin just having to draw some, yep, some Studio Ghibli stuff. You are now approved. Go ahead and draw. Uh, you could draw anything from Studio Ghibli out in here. Let's go check what's up in here. Second board is... Oh! I know who that is. She, um, Vence is doing Princess Mononoke on like the second board and it's looking sick. Yo, what the heck? That is not fair. That's going to be epic. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. 
Vince, you better post that in the Discord. I better see that in there <laughs> when it's done, because, oh, that's going to look so sick. He says, hey, thanks. Nice. I have to get a hard brush now. <gasps> oh man, time is going by so fast. It's like 10 minutes to one. 10 minutes to one, mean? guys. Do we stop at one? No, no, no. no. Uh, we stop in 40 oh. minutes at 1.30. Okay. Oh, it's then a I 90 minute event. Yes, yeah, so there's still lots of time. Although time has gone by very quickly. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> that is his tradition. Uh huh. I know. I love being like silly like that. It's like one of my funnest things. Your funnest thing is to be silly like that. That's good to know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, the more silly I can be, like in in a day, like the happier I am. Huh? How interesting. Oh yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know what we should do. Uh, your first uh, joke of... Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Favorite joke. My favorite joke. Do I have yeah. a favorite joke? I don't know. For silliness. I, I'm more into satire and like bomb jokes, I guess. But it's it's less it's less like a joke that I like pump out and more of a like it just I, I just like being witty and funny. Like uh. I don't have like a specific joke that I run to every time, you know what I mean? Um, no T Rex. I, I know you have you have many, many puns. It's um, <laughs> it's pretty bad, <laughs> guys. Okay, well I thought maybe uh, but okay. Um, I can also just um go with this. No, you will be the silly. Like I can accept of you that you will be the silly. I can not. Yeah. Okay, so I have like so these brushes. Some of them are so, I mean, I'm still painting with a leg, so that's kind of difficult. But um, there are, some of them are like so, I don't know, cool if they, if I wasn't leggy. And I, I think I would have done like really cool stuff with it. Now I'm hmm. kind of. I'm, I'm really sorry you're having so much lag. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, We've got an expert. Help chat here so klondice says again space opera uses opera in the same way as soap opera uses the word it emphasizes strong characters high tension uh, oh. soap between lovers space between civilization or within politics sci-fi in general is typically more focused on technology where space operas more just use space and or future technology and civilization as the setting instead of the focus aha Wait, is Star Trek a space opera then? Yeah. They have like, uh, I don't know. like I get, I get that Star Wars is one because that whole show is built on uh, fantasy story and um, well, the evil Senate. Let's not forget them. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but mm -hmm. Star Trek is more. I mean, sure, Diana Troy always gets some, you know. Well, Star Trek has a lot of, like, morality. Like, they have a lot of, like, mm. deeper thoughts and meanings to a lot of their episodes. Right. I appreciate okay. Star Trek. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. I grew up with it, so it's definitely my cup of tea. Nice. That's how I learned English. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited, though. Like, I don't know, I'm really excited to participate and to... I'm part of what our team calls the finishers, which is, like, um, I'm better at rendering than I am at, like, character designing or anything like that. Um, 
So I'm really excited to get to paint on top of some really cool character designs and uh, do like um, multiple thumbnails and color studies and contribute to the overall aesthetics of the piece. It's going to be super fun. I have, I, I could say I have been a fan of space operas for a long time. So I know the vibe. It's just really hard to put it into words. And I think Klondice did amazingly. So good job. Yeah. Thank you. So what is your favorite then? Mm. Hold on. I'm holding on. So it's called The Expanse. Oh yeah, no. I have yeah. I have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> so The Expanse is just if you haven't seen the show, it's on um Amazon Prime. Is it still? If you haven't seen the show, like finish finish <laughs> the stream obviously. Um and then go watch The Expanse you know all of what do they have like eight or nine seasons i forget but just go watch all of that and then um <laughs> and we could talk like <laughs> i i love the expanse so much it's so good i also really love dune i really really love dune and it's okay, not we're not done you know... with the expanse yet because i've seen the expanse oh <gasps> I, I i was gonna girl to i love that this one, that one actress because uh like, yeah Miller, right? The detective. Yeah. Miller, and and yeah. she always goes, Miller! Miller! Ah! You're funny. It's every time. And it's oh, at some point I couldn't hear it anymore. So I was like, okay, so Miller, hi. And I was like, oh, finally, we will not hear this anymore. I couldn't stand the way she pronounced it. Like, I, I it's. <laughs> also like her i really like i forget his name because i haven't watched it in a while uh but i forget his name but the 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 guy that's more like what's his what's his name the normal human in it all uh, no like he's he's a sociopath like he's he's absolutely like crazy and he's kind of big but he's sweet like he just chooses to be good um what's his name the guy, um, he like fixes the engines and stuff. Like he's. I don't have. Dang it! <laughs> it's it's been a while. Like this show Wait, has he, ended. Did he have quite a, a few girlfriend at some point? Yeah, it's like at the end he calls her peaches. Amos, thank you. Oh my yes, dear husband, of my dear husband, coming in hot with in the comments. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. but this this time there th this time there is an actual husband which is yours. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't mix up. But which one is he? I don't see. He, in the chat, his name is Imaginarium Terrain. His real name in real life is Joshua. Um, wait, what chat? The 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 YouTube chat. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not there. Okay, yes. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> So but, in Streamlabs, yeah. if you turn your attention to Streamlabs for a minute, Jana, um, okay. you can go on the top right hand side. There's comments above the banners section. Oh, you can open that, and there are all no. the YouTube comments. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Epic. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, I'm doxing my own husband, Vince. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah, I truly oh. am. It, and I don't think he minds. But I really appreciate the catch there. Yeah, I love that character. Amos is like... I don't know. Like, I just... I really like him. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> but he's <Right>. funny. <laughs> he dies at some point, right? We didn't like no. that very much. He was, no, no, no. He doesn't die. Doesn't know. He's not the one that <laughs> dies. The one that dies is the, the pilot guy. Uh, I forget his name too. <laughs> the pilot guy died. I think it's because he said something publicly that was like against the values of the show oh, okay, or the you? the yeah. Cancel. Not okay, to get. I'm not getting like political. Yeah, he was basically canceled. Yeah. Okay. 
but I was like, whatever. <laughs> Okay, give me Amos. Okay, Alex. Alex, Alex is the fun. guy that died. <laughs> My husband, yet again, everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Amos. Yes. Okay, I see him. He's so good. <laughs> yes, Amos. Very, very, very awesome. Oh, we've got a coin guy over here. What over is the here. coin? Me... The coin. I forget the name of this character. No face. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, we've got we no have face. A... We've got we've got the house moving castle. Yep, we've got Kiki's Tower's castle. Look at how cute that is. I love it. I love it, you guys. You, you guys are doing such a good job. This is going to be wonderful to post at the end. I love that it's it's not like hey, this is my drawing, this is your drawing, this is you know whatever. It's like a whole image. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It's not like coordinated or anything, but it's like, it's really nice that we're all kind of like drawing together. I really like that. Yeah. It's really in the spirit of magma, you know? Hello, oh. Klondice. We have you on the board. Thank you for all of your uh, explanations on space opera theme. Oh, look at this second board. This is so cool. <laughs> we have a little Totoro and we have a Princess Mononoke over here looking absolutely epic by Vence. Uh, <clears throat> for anybody who's new to the stream, Vence is another one of our ambassadors. He is a whiz with character design. You guys should definitely check out his streams. Um, he's got his next one. Let me check it out. His next one is on the 25th of April. It's quite a ways away, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, definitely look forward to that one. <laughs> By the way, do you know what we have here in the Netherlands? It starts next week. What? <gasps> Playground! Yay! <laughs> yes. We have playgrounds. Yeah, I, so many people are going to playgrounds. Are you? Yes, of course. I live in the Netherlands, so I cannot, you know, leave out. I have to think if I'm not going, then I'll be punished. No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I actually funny. already bought tickets a year ago. They got this new thing in, like the early, extra early birds, whatever. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure. And then we booked hotels right away. So the hotels were full right away. Did that too. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, like, do we have people here that are going to play Vance next week? Or are we all? I think Vance is going. He said so in the comments. Anybody else going to playgrounds that's here? Wait, is Vance Dutch? Vence is from France. Ooh. Vence, we have to meet. <laughs> I don't know where you are or where I can read you, but please be heard. Yeah, no French. Yeah. But if you're going to playgrounds, we have to meet. I will give you chicken stickers. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a chicken sticker where the chicken has turned its rear backside towards us. It's the bird. And it's laying an egg. And it's just looking back like, Wait, you're looking at my butt? <laughs> yeah, it's a private matter. You shouldn't watch. It's you still do it. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best sticker ever. <laughs> Should yeah. I go find it? Should I go find it? I think I have it right find here. it. Wait, nope. It's always the first one to go off the sheet, right? <laughs> yeah, because no. yeah, it's so funny. It's the best one. Okay. <laughs> I know. I don't. I I know. I have to get up for this like, and, and and rep stuff. But... Yeah, chicken stickers.
Yeah, so now the British will be there as well, of course. Yes, yes, now yes. Now I finally know what they look like. So <laughs> I can say hi. Ah. Nice. I mean, we had to wait to see each other in America, of all places, if to me. That's, that is funny that you guys are both from the Netherlands and then like you meet in California at Lightbox. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, also very expensive, but yes. <laughs> but thankfully you're there already for like the expo and stuff so that yeah it, it makes sense yeah okay I'm not doing a very great job at this house like it's not really coming off the ground nah. well it needs a contact shadow yeah, well, it needs bushes and roses and all that. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. But so don't don't worry about it. It's not done, right? It is not. It's not. But there's more there. wrong with, See? with it than just that. I mean, there's not even a door in it. Come on. Yeah, but you you still have like twenty four minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are oh we talking God. about? That's like that's super easy enough time. Exactly. <laughs> So get it, girl. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, wouldn't it be funny if, um, if indeed, like, I would now like do this whole background in, in 90 minutes and then on the painted thumb go like, no, 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 like a background that takes like uh, six hours. And um... yeah, that's what I find funny is like how much pressure people put themselves under for this paint thon thing. And then, like, for these clubhouses, I I can, like, achieve so much in 90 minutes. Yeah, and it just makes also, me, like, it, it makes me think nuts. about... No, sorry, go ahead. But you can also reach a lot not in 90 minutes. <laughs> that was like, um... Yeah, I feel like, like, the pressure, it's the pressure people put themselves under because of this competition. Like, they want to win so bad. And it's like, in my experience. I don't know. We don't have that. It's not worth it. <laughs> because you never know. Like, like the judge's personal taste comes into play. Like, the, the way that they're judging could be different than the way that you made your image. I'm just, I'm a little kind of jaded. Because it's like, I don't think it actually matters how good your piece is. I think it's just. There's so many people now, like, participating and everything. It's it's one of those, like, you know what, like, I don't know. I think I've developed, like, a different attitude towards all competitions. Because I've been in a few this year. Um, and I got kind of burned with, like... Um, there was one competition where I was participating and like, was that the one with the book? I'm, I'm not going to name it cause I don't want to be rude. Um, yep. oh. basically the, the winners were chosen and I thought that several of the winners did deserve it. And I thought one of them did not. And I <laughs> was just kind of like, okay, most of the people who won did so off mm -hmm. of the back of studies. Like, you could tell that the image that they submitted was, like, a one-to-one -one replica of a picture oh, that they were doing. And I was and like, if I had done that, yeah. I could have won because I'm very good at co at, at copying, right? Making But study. I did, like, a yes. original... Ex I did an original illustration, right? Which is, mm -hmm. in my opinion, a lot harder. Yeah, um, it is. And, uh... Yeah, I didn't, like, it didn't make me upset that I didn't win. I just understood that the priorities of the judges were very different than what I thought they were. And it was never stated what the priorities were. Um, now, in the, the paint-a-thon, the priorities are very clearly stated. They prioritize story, they prioritize perspective, they prioritize... Uh, I have to look it up. But there's like a short list 
of things that they'll prioritize, right? And so creating an original illustration is is their thing. But had I known for my other competition that I could just submit like a portrait, <laughs> I would have done that. Oh, I'm, you shit. know what I mean? You know what I mean? It just, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I'm kind of done. <laughs> I'm done with this. So I'm just kind of like, all right, well, I'm just going to like participate and like, because if I, if I participate to win, I'm not going to have fun at oh, all. And it good. stresses me out and I'm just done. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't been participating to win for the longest time. We know we're not winning, so. Well, it was a lot more feasible back when I started to participate in the paintathons, but nowadays it's like there's so many teams and you're so unlikely to win. It's like I'm just nah. Nah, that's <laughs> just oh, that's only during the the, the Christmas holly jolly. Oh, I've got news for you, man. What the? all of them? Like the the holly jolly one is huge, but like. There's... I mean, I've participated in all of them till now, right? Like, so... Yeah, but they, they get really big, the other ones too. So I, mm. I don't know. I thought it was like 20 around, around, around 20. That's still 20, a lot. 30. That's yeah, still a but lot. I mean, it's, it's, like, I know. Yeah. it's different. Like um, with the Holly Jolly, like uh, a different level of um, the artists come in as well. Yeah. So it's um I don't know, especially with the Holly Jolly, we don't play for a win. When we never play for a win actually, so <laughs> And you guys probably had more fun. And that's okay. But yeah. yeah. So I mean I, I always build in like hours to I don't know, fight if they need it and stress. But <laughs> and then I'll say, Okay, and now you guys have to shut the fuck up and I did it again, sorry. And just, you know, you're fine. Um, I get what get you mean, though. It. And I love that you schedule in time for people to argue because that is brilliant. That is just hilarious. Yeah, I mean, people need to know that that's okay. So, just get the, you know, get, get a good scuff out every now and then. Okay. It's going to be very healing. can also not be, but yeah, this, we'll see that later. <laughs> we end up we almost never use it so plus you know it's that the especially when it turns Sunday everybody is tired even though we have slept it's, you know, after six hours you're officially done if you want to work over hours then you of course go to uh, what's it like uh eight or ten hours and then that's kind of your painted on and if you then have to get up and do it all again basically that is already too much so everybody's tired anyway so at some point it's just like yeah okay let's go with that sure let's go with that oh who cares let's do this <laughs> that is such a different experience so like in my team we have like different categories of people with different skills and if you're yeah, I, somebody I so like if you're somebody who has skills that are useful at the beginning and at the end you end up sleeping in the middle but if you're somebody who's like let's say your skill is character design and thumbnails uh, you better get your sleep while people are starting the image because you gotta work in the middle shift right so it's like yeah. <laughs> And then you tell weird. me that people take it too yeah. seriously. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, we don't do that. Like at all. You know, I never. <laughs> we just go like, oh, yeah, okay. So everybody, whenever they want to sleep, they sleep. Um, they will let us know and then we'll just wait. Oh, yeah. Like, I let people sleep, obviously. It's it's not, that's not, you make me come off way different than, a, than what it is. Yeah. No. Um, you are making I'm just, you yeah. way different. Hey, are you are you making are you making roses? <laughs> I'm making the impression of roses. I see. Let's get some. 
That's like good. from far away, like from here, you know. <laughs> you can alter it however you want. <laughs> I don't yeah, mind. you want to get this? Oh, you're like way, way, way on top of me. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, you can fine. right. You can right click your layer, uh, or like create a new layer. Right click it and move it to top. Right. Yeah. No, that's not necessary. Okay, we're getting somewhere, but still, it's not. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to work. Yeah. I like these. Who did these cuckoos, by the way? Oh, they are cute. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. My bottom line is I'm very thankful whenever there's competitions where it's like, um, they actually tell you like what their criteria are and they acknowledge that they're human and that they, they can't be impartial and that they're going to be partial to their own tastes. And, you know, it, it is what it is. You, you... <laughs> yeah. Competitions aren't as fun. As a lot of people think they are. Um, <laughs> so they're little sauna chickens from spirited away. That's cute. <clears throat> Oh, that's an interesting brush. So, because you are hosting it and it's your art space, I get all the cool brushes. Yeah. That is that how this works? Ah, uh, yeah. Huh. How cool is that? It is uber cool. It is so so cool. <clears throat> okay, so I need to maybe I think everything is painted over except okay, so let's see. Hey, you're getting the painter from um whatchamacallum? The wind also raises because it's like this short head, right? It's not from morning. Also Kiki turned out great. I know, right? That is so good. <laughs> man you guys did such a good job honestly like i'm so impressed i i'm gonna let leave this thing up for the day and then post this first slide uh on the discord tomorrow so anybody who's like drawing right now that's like hurrying up don't worry about it you can finish your drawing at your leisure you could just relax have fun and then uh whenever you know that my what uh, did you say? Tomorrow, sometime, I'll like grab it and put it in the Discord. So, yeah, no worries. Take your time. You got all day. Quite literally. Okay. So, right click. Wait. Right click. Okay. <laughs> I love seeing all the different styles, <laughs> all the different things coming together. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, I don't know where your layer is. Where is your How layer you fifteen? Oh, Layer are. 15. I'm right mm -hmm. on top of you now. Cool. <clears throat> oh, man. That's coming along great, fence. And oh, my goodness, Andy, this is so cool. You're really like mixing the your different techniques together now. And it's really interesting to watch your prog progress. This is really cool. Hey, we have a Nausicaa, by the way. A what? Nausicaa. Nice. Oh, you have some drawing going on back here, too. Nice, nice. Look forward to coming back over here and seeing what you're doing. <laughs> Whoa. Man. 
It's so cool. Really like I'm back here. Like, sorry, what were you saying? No, no, we're in, uh, we're doing good for uh, like the amount of lag that we are. The, I am having. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Like sorry. I, I automatically assumed that was the rest as well, but um, that was stupid. I didn't mean it that way. Sorry. <laughs> well, someone is doing the lady from Marnie back here on the cliff. Yeah, so I think it's from the wind also rises because it's um, the lady from Marnie is one with long hair, and this is the oh. the, the bride, like the the girl with who also of course gets sick because they oh. drunk, and then they marry, yeah. they marry, right? Because yeah, you might be right. Whoa. Yeah, I just I just noticed that it was like um, very similar. Like, oh my god, I just watched Marnie and now I'm oh I'm going off the chickens. That's okay. <laughs> Marnie is so like just hypnotic to watch. Like I Why are you so hypnotic? Cause when I watched it I just couldn't look away. I was just like Oh because I couldn't figure out what was happening. I was just like, what the heck is going on with this girl? And yeah, I, like, it just, it was so cool. Um, hi, dream sequence. Welcome. We're just drawing super cute Studio Ghibli stuff. You're welcome to hop on the canvas and go ahead and paint. Um, but yeah, watching, watching Marnie was, I think I watched it. I was like 19 or something. It had just, just come onto the shelf. And uh, oh, oops, I took I? it home and I started watching it and I was like confused. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, but um, it's because like, why is, what's this girl's problem, right? Like, what is, yeah, it's what is just her deal so, here? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it today for the first time and I was like, okay, so, okay, this is uh, <laughs> score one for the introversy, but like, is this i was wondering like is this what anxiety is i think like, yeah there's this like undertone of dread looks yeah as, as soon as he looks at her or if there's anyone like looking at her or if there is one more than one person around her she panics and so maybe that is what anxiety is this like this thing where she's like only she only feels good if she's like alone yeah and then her like marnie shows up it's like really interesting it's like yeah. every introvert's yeah. feelings <laughs> yeah so Basically. okay so is she is that the idea that she's in love with marnie i don't remember what the point of the movie was just to be very clear. Uh, <laughs> uh, Marnie, in the end, Marnie was her grandmother. And um, because she was adopted and it was like a big thing and her mom received money for that, like the adopted parent receives money. So therefore she um, takes this as a personal offense because why shouldn't you? Um, and that therefore her mom doesn't really love her because she gets paid to love her. And that's a big issue hmm. and then Barney who is actually a ghost um, is appearing for no reason at all and um, keeps appearing for no reason at all there's no I, I can I couldn't track why mm -hmm. and then um, she she gets very I think sort of possessive of Marnie but Marnie disappears some, sometimes. Um, Anna disappears, and then in the end, it turns out that the woman with the long hair that paints was friends with Marnie, like when they were very young, and she told the whole story of Marnie, and Marnie got a oh, kid. Oh right, I remember that. She wasn't she wasn't very good with that kid, and uh, but then you know, and that was her mom. And now that she knows who her grandma is, all her anxiety is gone. Poof. And I was like, oh, that's new. 
That's funny. I, I didn't understand that part. It's like, is this about anxiety? Is this, is this supposed to be? I mean, I find it, I found the concept interesting if it is indeed about anxiety and maybe, you know, creating awareness for it. Apparently, you just have to meet your dead grandmother as a child and then you're good. <laughs> See, I don't think that's right. <laughs> I think that I am Studio Ghibli serious. movies try. Yeah, no, I hear you. I think Studio <laughs> Ghibli movies they try to they try to personify things that are feelings a lot. Right. Persona, and it's very weird. <laughs> Okay. Like it's, it's very odd, but it's also aesthetically extremely pleasing. Um, well, I don't think that the personification of feelings is ex very pleasing, but the style is. Yeah, I think. I don't know. And why is that? Why why is it not pleasing to you? Why is it not pleasing to me to see an anxious person if that's uh, supposed to be a personification of a I mean, if it's anxiety, as a, I mean, I thought I was quite thick on it, and I didn't know, like, I was, I kind of got like that, um, I got that suffocating feeling that, like, mm -hmm. oh my god, if this is what anxiety is, uh, we should never make fun of it again. Like this, this is like, yeah. people cannot live this way. It's, it's a very because she literally cannot function. She cannot go to school. She cannot talk to people. And then she, because otherwise she'll like call people fat pigs. And then, so basically that means that you are not fit at all to do anything. You're basically handicapped. The, like, because it, it has been portrayed that extremely, those extreme measures. Yeah. It's just very suffocating. No, it's very validating for a lot of people who have anxiety and for a lot of people whose emotions feel unheard. These movies really like strike a human chord and um to me at least they're very pleasant because they don't shy away from the ugly. You know, you think about um Grave of the Dragonflies and how like those two kids are survivors of the bombing of Japan after World War II. And it's very apparent that things are not going to get better for them. And it's a very, very, very sad anime. If, if you've never watched <laughs> Grave of the Dragonflies, <laughs> go watch it um, and cry and then give it a few days and you'll feel better. <laughs> but uh, it, it's... It's... They, they don't shy away from difficult topics. It reminds me of how Disney used to be with like Lion King and all that, mm -hmm. but it, it really truly touches your soul. Like it really does have a lasting impact and gives you empathy and understanding for other people and what they go through, right? And that's at the heart of its existence, what we try to do with art, right? We try to reach other people. Right. Um, so, but do, I think, you, so no. do you don't think that that actually, like, so you you would agree that it's in this case Marnie is about anxiety, like, this is it a might right be. observation of mine. It might be. I I don't know what it is, and I don't want to like assume on behalf of like Miyazaki and all of them. I just think it's a masterful piece. Like a lot of the Studio Ghibli movies are masterful, and I'm so. I'm so blessed and impressed with what they have done. And I think that all of their movies are little treasures uh, to watch. And I'm really excited to have my son watch some of them. Um, so oh, which really ones are you stuck with? <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh, uh -oh. mm, that's really hard. Probably, probably my neighbor Totoro. Just because. It's yeah, really that's a good one. Yeah. yeah and not too nice. sad, you know. <laughs> I don't want to start him off with a sad one. He might not <laughs> not want to watch more of them. 
you by the way have to watch uh kaguya i think that's i uh, do i haven't watched it i will i yeah, will it's, it's okay. i cried it's not it's about just... world war whatever so. it's not that heavy there's also no anxiety in there <laughs> i hear you i don't think I um, think I'm I'm spotting something here on the third board. I think this is this might be the house from Marnie. It might. No, um, should I dress no, because Jenna? I can give you time. Yeah, it sure does fly super fast. Um, yeah. Well, I, I want to let you say what you were about to say, and then we do have to run. Oh no! Um, like what is like. What is what has been drawn? What is being drawn at this moment is the house I just sent you. I think uh, the ref is in the. Oh, that's so pretty. It is. That is pretty, and they're doing such a good job of it too. Gorgeous job, no, guys! I, I just want to thank all of you. All of this art is epic. Like you guys have done such a good job. I'm really excited. Take all the time you need. I will let this just be open to everyone who was approved during stream today. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll grab this first slide and I'll I'll post it up. Okay, so you guys have till the rest of the day to finish your drawings and have some some fun. Enjoy the playlist that I uh, linked early in the stream, and uh, just think of some of the meanings behind these movies because they're precious and beautiful. <laughs> wow, that's deep. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it's not supposed uh... to be. <laughs> Any last words, J -j -j Jana? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know English. You know? Any last words? Do you know that my name is actually with a soft J, like it's Jana. <gasps> it's Jana. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. No Any problem. last words? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where we uh, go? You didn't. I didn't. I didn't come prepared for this. I lost my layer. That, that's my last words. Okay. <laughs> no, I really did. You are epic. And I thank you so much for coming on this stream with me and having a ton of fun. You did fantastic. Like I this this is gonna be so cool to post. Like it's really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I find it hard to leave this, but I, I, I have to because I have a lot of other stuff to do. But it's uh Aww. It's, Yeah. It's not I hear yet. you. Yeah. Well, okay, okay. you have till the, the the end of the day. I I will probably post it somewhere at like noon my time tomorrow, so you probably can go to bed and wake up the next morning and do some if you want. But I'm gonna go. I have an appointment <laughs> soon, so I have to run. But you guys, I hope you had a good time, and we will see you next time. Bye.